Nice little wash and go moment. Nice little wash and go moment. Period. That's it. That's all. <laughs> the curls did not come to play. Wait, 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 wait. on camera looking busted and disgusted but I'm about to give y'all the full wash day slash wash and go routine so you know if you stay tuned you're gonna see a different result I've been wearing my hair in a sleek back little puff style like for almost a week so my hair is filled with gel got to be glue spray like let me show y'all like my hair is my hair is just completely dirty. It's okay because I'm about to get myself together. Y'all gonna be here to see it. So yeah, stay tuned. After taking out my scrunchie, I'm showing y'all the state of my hair after having it in a slicked back puff. It's all matted. It's a whole bunch of gel and got to be glue sprayed gunked up in there. So now I'm going to rinse my hair. I like to thoroughly rinse my hair before adding any other products just to make sure all of the gel and spray is rinsed out of it. As you can see right here, it's taken me quite a long time to get all of the gel out because I was going for a very sleek look when I had my puff in. What is trouble in your mind? Are you doing now that it's all rinsed out, we're going to jump straight into deep conditioning. I am using the Ozzy Moist 3 Minute Miracle. Well, I don't get it, you say it's a man. Girl, make sure you use the recommended dime-sized amount. Always apply your conditioner to your ends and then work your way up. Always work in small sections, so you're going to see me backtrack and section off my hair. If you let your gut down, baby, this is what I'll do. I usually part my hair into four sections, but I only had two clips with me, so we're just going to make it do what it do. Now I'm going in with more deep conditioner just to make sure every strand is coated. I just want to be your bride, want to be, I want to give our love away. You're going to see me use even more product. This is reason number one why we use a cheap deep conditioner to help detangle our hair. After I feel like my hair has enough slip, I start finger detangling. This is what I'll do. I'll do. making sure all the shed hair is out.
after this section is completely detangled, I break it into a smaller section and twist the hair. Just pulled up to the house. Don't feel like it now. I'ma just lay back and crack this window. I've been doing my best. Twisting your hair keeps it from tangling back up while you're shampooing it. Just to make sure the class is together, I'm showing you guys the steps again in the front section. I do apply my deep conditioner like it is a relaxer just so I make sure I'm not missing any strands. This is how it should look and what we do to one side, we're going to do it to the other. Now that my whole head is detangled and twisted, I'm going to put it up out of my face. I usually put a shower cap on and get things done around the house. I like to do laundry, go play with the prince, my puppy, just anything to pass time because we're going to let this sit around 30 minutes. Now that I have let it sit, I'm going to thoroughly rinse it out. <laughs> Now I'm going in with the Shea Moisture, Jamaican Black Castor Oil, Strengthen and Restore Shampoo. This is my all-time favorite. I've been using it since high school. Make sure you lift up every twist to get to your scalp. I'm going in with my scalp massager just to make sure I am stimulating hair growth. 
I give my edges a little extra TLC just because that's where all the edge control, gel, and spray was. Unless my hair was in a protective style for a very long time, I only do one cycle of shampooing. Now I'm going to jump straight in with the same line of conditioner. This is just a reminder to make sure you use the recommended dime size amount. Take it away, take it away, feeling too good to me. Make sure you aren't neglecting your kitchen. Now that my hair is fully saturated with conditioner, I'm going to go ahead and do my full shower routine, which usually takes around 15 minutes. And now I'm going to rinse out. But you won't let me something in my brain wants you. I've been hanging by myself, asking for help, but nothing seems to work on you. Yeah, you always make. the twist in the back to be able to start my wash and go. I'm going in with the Miel Pomegranate and Honey Leave-In Conditioner. All that I crave when you're away nights are sleepless. I always use a combination of raking it through my hair and the praying hands method. The love that we make is my favorite drug. Too caught up in your love. I've been trying to forget. The next product I'm going to use is the Neil Pomegranate and Honey Curl Sculpting Custard. Asking for help, but nothing seems to work on you. Yeah, you always make me feel like the final product is the Miel Curl Defining Mousse. To me, the mousse is what makes the curls pop. Great wash and go is making sure it is completely moisturized. So again, the steps are leave-in conditioner, styling product, mousse, make sure you are raking it in your hair, and using the praying hands method. I just can't stop thinking about you. I just can't stop thinking about you. I'm just giving y'all a quick 360 to let y'all know how it should look with all the products applied. Now that our hair is fully saturated with the products, I am going to let it air dry since it is summertime and nice outside. Or you have the option to sit under the hooded dryer or use your handheld diffuser. Once it's about 80% dry, I am going to pineapple it, put a bonnet on, and I'm going to see y'all in the morning. What did you do? Good morning. It's the next day all i did was pineapple my hair it wasn't fully dry when i pineappled it but we gonna see how it came out this is actually kind of a cool style should i leave it like this no let me do the wash and go video <laughs> Hi 
pineapple in my hair is usually a hit or miss so I'm kind of glad it came out the way I needed it to turn out um, all of this is extremely wet but I'm pretty sure it's gonna dry as the day goes on and let me just give y'all a little 360 to do wash and goes but I found the products that work for me and the method that works for me so yeah. nice little wash and go moment period the curls did not come to play okay y'all thanks for watching let me know down in the comments if you're going to try this wash and go routine let me know what products y'all want me to try because I'll be the guinea pig. Stay tuned for more content on life, career, and all things beauty. All while keeping it real. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell and I'll see y'all in the next video.